Welcome to Planet Geek. My name is Troy and I'd like to uh, thank you for checking out my uh, latest video. Uh, this time we're doing, uh, well this time, like I haven't done enough of these already. I'm doing a movie review for a movie that just opened today and that's uh, Jack the Giant Slayer. Uh, to start off, um, I went to the theater to go see this movie in um, the only theater that I could see it. Uh, was an AVX theater. Um, the movie is broadcast in 3D, so you do have the option of seeing 2D. While there aren't very many theaters that are doing the 2D, I saw this 3D. Um, AVX is a new system that um, the theaters have installed where it's a larger screen, digital projection, uh, like 7 point something surround Dolby Atmos, I believe is what it's called. Um, so from that point... From that point of view, it's really, really good experience. You get to choose your seat, which is kind of neat. Um, if you're there early enough or you go online to do this and uh, you pick the seats that you want, you show up just before the movie at a full theater, then you're screwed to wherever you are. Um, now, for the movie review itself, Jack the Giant Slayer, um, uh, directed by Brian Singer um and uh starring uh, uh Nicholas Holt uh and uh Eleanor Tomlinson and Uma McGregor. Uh this is basically unlike uh Hansel and Gretel which came out a little while ago. Um it wa it basically follows the storyline very um religiously. It's uh, it's basically oh this is where this happens, this is where this happens, this is where this happens. Now of course it progresses beyond that point, but it's still a really fun movie. It's a very family-friendly movie. Uh, there's no gore. There's no. There's really not very much blood in this movie. Uh, when things are going to be gory, the camera cuts away, or it cuts to another shot of another character reacting to what's happening. So it's kind of using your imagination and all that. Um, you know what? Uh, Nicholas Holt was kind of cool to see him actually uh, speaking lines out of his mouth this time instead of just doing a voiceover like he did in his last one, which was uh, Warm Bodies, which was out last uh, last year. Um, but uh, you know what? It was really, really cool of a movie. Now, it's not the greatest movie and all that. It is very special effects heavy, which has been a big thing uh, lately with all the special effects. And this is really handled really well. Uh, a couple of trailers were like, eh, I don't know about these giants and all that, but you know what? It's really well done. Um, some of the special effects is a little like Fay Ray King Kong sort of effects when like, you know, when the giants are grabbing onto the the humans and all that, they all look a little ragdoll. And there's some shots where it's very uh, Naomi Watts King Kong, where it like really looks really good. Um, so, you know what? Um, I would suggest... Uh, not a bad movie to see. Now, it was supposed to be released last June, and I believe it was pulled from the fact that they wanted to up the to a 3D. Now, the 3D really isn't that uh, needed. There are some effects, but you know what? Not enough to... There's a lot of scenes where they're like looking down from the beanstalk. You don't really get that big of a depth that you probably would with 3D. So, I don't know why... Uh, probably would have done just as fine uh, without, but you know what? Hey, not my decision, but you know what? I still enjoyed the movie nonetheless. Um, one big note, I really want Ewan McGregor's armor from this. It's, it's, he's got this leather armor and all that. It just looks so cool. Um, so you know what? Um, my suggestion, go see it if you want to see a family-friendly adventure film. That's basically it. Now, if you're going in looking for a lot of like depth and all that sort of thing, not very much. There's, there's a lot of funny parts in it, too, because, again, it's family-friendly, so there's got to be laughter for the kids to enjoy some stuff and all that. So there's my review. So uh, hopefully next week. Uh, next week should be uh, one of the big ones. I'll probably be doing this, what I'm doing now, in costume because uh, it will be um, Oz the Great and Powerful, and I do have a cosplay costume to go with that. So I'll probably be, hopefully, do the actual review at the theater with my uh, friends that are going to go see it. So I'll probably get a group um, review going on. And uh, that'll be up uh, shortly after that. So that's going to be next week, uh, Oz the great and powerful so just a last minute thing a really good movie go see jack the giant slayer uh if you want to see any more of my stuff go to uh twitter or tumblr and look me up under uh zombie tony stark and until the next time i see ya i'll see ya